Hey, what up, guys? Welcome back for a new video of Clash of Clans, and today we have episode 6 to 17 of our Let's Play Clash of Clans series. Uh, if you didn't catch the last, last episode, uh, it was basically uh, a time lapse of me building the new base design, and it's been okay recently with the new base design. Um, the first person who raided me, um, I think I won. But yeah, on the screen you just see me with my uh, level 3 Barbarian King. Um, he has a bit more health, 1622 health, and a bit more attack. And I think it is 162, as I remember. Um, so yeah, on the screen you're seeing what I've been doing. Uh, my mortar is still going to level 6, with the tower is still going to level 4. Air defense level 5, and the next air defense I'll go make it slow five as well um this was recorded in the morning so right now i have zero builders i actually spent it on my um on my collectors because i want them all to be low 10 but on to the first battle now i checked for the clan castle troops and there's quite a lot of them i believe that's a level three clan castle um so yeah i just put a couple of my archers and a couple of my barbarians to take them on uh, it's just kind of the simple thing that you normally do, and then I deploy all six of my giants uh, for kind of distraction, distraction purposes, and then I send in my wave of barbarians and archers. Um, the wrong criticism I will make on this is um, the problem was I actually deploy my clan castle which I didn't actually need to do I just saw that there were level 6 troops and stuff um, I think I would have taken them on uh, with my archers not my normal archers level 5 archers um, by myself without the clan castle so I should have saved that for a different battle however it still did well and wow it's really laggy right now uh, but we end the battle with 50% uh, 178,000 and 131,000 resources uh i request and this is in cat size one and the um the requirements for this is level 60 or over and level 5 troops so i joined for a while i want to see how it went i knew uh, for obvious uh, reasons um there will be level 5 and 6 um troops donated to me so i was really buzzing about that which did happen uh, i did enjoy that part however it was just like dead clan uh, no one spoke um it was just all donating and stuff so it's kind of boring um and so i left and joined right now i'm actually back in cat size 2 uh even though i don't get the best troops uh it's still more fun than cat size 1 but yeah um just then i was just checking if um i had actually completed the alexa challenge where you get over 100 million right now i am on 98 million but um i'm doing really well uh currently i am on it's sunday so tomorrow the stats will reset and i am on 191 attacks one and 31 defensive one so um i'll tell you my last record was i to check now um i believe right at the end it was 179 wins and 42 defenses. So I won on the defense, but I lost on the. Uh, uh, no, I lost on the defense and I won on the offense. But um, I kind of felt I used a bit more gems this time. Um, I have used a bit more of my own, just a pouch more. But yeah, we're on the second raid now, and I needed the Lexa this time, Dark Lexa. Um, because I had just recently got my Barbarian King to new upgrade and then I would have no Alex left, so Dark Alex left, so I just saw this guy and I had to take my chance of taking 1.4 million, no, 1.4 thousand Dark Alex, um, and I didn't need to pick off his down hole because I didn't need the trophies, but here we are on the best raid of the day, 500,000 resources of each, we're actually doing quite well, however, these raids aren't particularly hard. Um, 
So yeah, I do one barbarian to distract twice, um, so then my warp breakers could get in, and then I could deploy my giants, um, just for meat shield um, distraction purposes. And then one criticism of what I should have done here is I should have spread them at the top. However, I kind of made it to the top right, so there you actually just went for the darker no the Lexa storage is uh, no pumps. So then that kind of messed me up a tiny bit. Um, on the screen, you just see it's kind of like five to ten um, archers going for the gold. However, they didn't really do a good job. So I had to do. Uh, I had to send in one of my dragons in to help out. Uh, the Alexa went really quick though, uh, which was good. Obviously, I knew from like bases like these, you'll just see and you'll know which ones are going to have um, loot in the storages and which one will have them in the pumps and collectors um a reason for this is this guy's expo was not loaded uh, there was no alexa inset like loaded in it there was no purple there was no pink um he has the top left there was no badge so unless he is somebody who doesn't know how to attack um i don't think well that's kind of unlikely so i kind of knew it was in his collectors and i guess correct um so yeah, we end up taking most of his loot, 1.7 thousand gold off, however the loot bonus makes up for it and I get 300,000 gold, no 300,000 Lexa and 241,000 uh, gold. So yeah, this is the second raid, uh, third raid sorry, uh, fourth raid sorry, twice that was, uh, and this is near enough to 450,000 um, resources so yeah i'm doing well with these however it's just the same kind of scenario everything is in his pumps and collectors so same thing and i do my barbarians and then i do my archers um for this one i wanted to send my dragons in because um i knew that my um pumps will be full anyway so yeah it's kind of easy for me to get a lex right now uh, I've actually took some screenshots of previous uh, raids and winnings and stuff and I noticed that I have more Alexa than gold and I'll explain it to you now guys and the reason why I've got my walls at level 7 uh, is because I s kind of spend my gold as soon as I get it um, I don't save it as much in my Alexa I'm scared that somebody will raid me and take it so I kind of just uh, um, spent it on walls when I was in Town Hall 6 and then I wanted to keep it all um, nicely p uh, pink and then I moved on to purple now I'm moving on to a little bit of black dark level 8 walls with the scores on them uh, I'm not going to make it all to scores because the amount of time that will take and the amount of loot I would need is just bloody hell it's too much so yeah, on this raid, I believe it's really laggy, and I do take both of his gold mines though, and uh, one of my other dragons are taking his um, elixir storages, but it's really laggy for some reason. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice this when I was recording. However, it is laggy, so bear with me, guys. And I end the battle and I take 230,000 Alexa and 190,000 gold. And this army camp setup um, composition is a bit different. I incorporated some goblins into here um, just because the previous raids were mostly um, mostly um, in the collectors and storages. Um, so I didn't really need to use my dragons in the previous raid, so I tried this out. Uh, I tried it out before, however, I did forget wall breakers this time. Trying to mess me up bad, big time. Um, I still did well. I did get three stars, I believe. And this is what happens. I just deploy them all, and then it's a w uh, race to who destroys the first wall. And look at them. Just going for the same wall, um, kind of the bad thing, because a mortar, if it was a high enough level mortar, I would have got just exploded dominated is enough word to describe it and um, however I don't think that would happen I've got loads of goblins coming in now and helping out 
with marches. The only thing I was scared at that point was the Wizard Tower. However, the Giants did an amazing job of removing it, and the arches helped out as well. Uh, I pick up the Town Hall, and we move on. But yeah, um, the only other thing I want to do uh, with my gold is when I get the three spare builders, um, I'm going to put one onto the collectors or mines. Because I, as I said before, I want them to level 11 or 12, no, 11 um, and 11 in both storages and collectors. So, uh, yeah, because one of my storages are level 9 and my, one of my gold storages are level 9 as well. So, I want to upgrade them. However, I've kind of focused on my walls and um, my defense first. Which isn't bad. However, when I get my three builders, I put one of them. I just every time I get him free, I'll just keep putting him on a different collector. Uh, and then the other two, I want to plan on getting air defense level five, which is my second one to level five, and then another mortar to level six, which is my last one, uh, which will take 2.6 million. And the only problem I have now is I can't store that all together and if I store around 2 million I will just get raided and someone will just take four, uh, 400 million, no, why am I saying million, uh, 400,000 gold off me um, if they saw me, and especially if they were Town Hall 9 as well. So I didn't want to spend it on walls so what I did with one of my builders was put him busy and I put him to do one of my storages, which only takes one day, uh, which is good. And then after that, I will probably use that other one, um, doing my walls or my collectors and mines and stuff like that. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you want to. Uh, I recently hit 150 subs, I'm on currently 154, and a special video will be out very soon. So thanks for watching guys, and peace.